Welcome everyone, it's time to worship God. Are you ready? Say, oh yeah. Me too. I'm so glad to worship God with all my friends. God has big plans for you, and God has plans for me. Who has plans for you? That's right, God has plans for you, and we can trust his really, really awesome plans for us. So stand on up, and let's sing this out together. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I know is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad. each and every one of us. Ooh, that is so exciting. I wonder what those plans are. I don't know, but I do know that. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe it's to be a famous fashion designer. Or maybe I'm going to be a fancy princess squirrel. Oh, I have it. I can be a hero in disguise. Never fear, Nutmeg is here. Wait, I've got it. I know the plan for me. I'm going to be a luchador, a professional wrestler. So, what do you think? I think you look um, pretty silly with that mask on. <laughs> nah, you're right. Oh, um, I didn't mean for her to leave. Um, Nutmeg? I hope she comes back. And I'm back. <gasps> Yay! Okay, there you are. Now this is Nutmeg that we all know and love, and you sure do have an I some ideas for God's plan for you. Yeah, the truth is, I don't know what God's plan is for me. And that's okay. I'm not sure of what he has planned for you, but I know that God knows. Now, God has a plan for me, God has a plan for you, and God has a plan for them. And God's plans are always good. If only there was a way for me to remember that. Well, actually, there is. It's called the memory verse. A memory verse? What's that? It's a verse from the Bible that we repeat over and over, and we have moves, of course, until we remember it. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. It is. Hey, let's go ahead and let's practice it this month's memory verse. So let's do it. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Awesome, now it's your guys' turn. So stand up on your feet, and Nutmeg, you can repeat after the kids. You got it, sister. Let's do it. For I know. For I know. The plans I have for you. The plans I have for you. Says. Says. The Lord. The Lord. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. 2911. 2911. Great job, everyone. Now God has a plan for all of us, and he loves you specially. So let's just remember that as we sing.
Hello everyone, it's me, Dak. I'm so happy you're all here today. I'm still planning my super awesome ice cream sundae party. It's going to be a total yummy blast. One of my jobs for the party is to be an ice cream scooper. Obviously, this is a very important job. So I thought I'd better practice scooping. I have this big tub of yummy ice cream to practice with. And I have this big spoon. All right, here it goes. This is harder than I thought. This ice cream is really hard, and this spoon is not working. What else could I use? Hmm. Oh, I know. I can try an ice cream scoop. Wow, this ice cream is really, really hard. And this ice cream scoop isn't working either. I might have to wait for it to soften up a little bit. Having some trouble there, Dak? Yes, I have been trying to scoop out this ice cream, but it is just too hard. Hmm. I'm sure if you're patient, then you'll be able to scoop out the ice cream in a little bit. You know, this situation really reminds me of a true story from the Bible, when someone else had to do a hard thing. That's awesome. We can't wait to hear it. The true story is found in the very beginning of the Bible from the book of Genesis. Can you guys say Genesis? Genesis. Great. Now repeat after me as loud as you can. The Bible's God's word. The Bible is God's word. The Bible is truth. The Bible is truth. Awesome job, kids. Let's check it out. Ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, Stormy Jane, you can come out of your doghouse now. I know it was hard to wait in there, but the rain has stopped and you can come out and play. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I have a great story for you about someone who did something very hard. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph trusted God's plan. Joseph worked at a big palace in Egypt for a man named Potiphar. Stormy Jane, you're not Potiphar. Get out of the story, silly dog. That's better. While Joseph worked at the palace, he tried to do a good job. If Potiphar told him to get food, Joseph got him food. If Potiphar said the floors needed sweeping, Joseph swept. Joseph did whatever Potiphar told him to do, and Joseph trusted God's plan for him. Then one day, somebody said Joseph did something very wrong. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. But Joseph didn't do it. Joseph was sent to jail anyway. Oh, that would be very hard. Joseph didn't do anything wrong, but he was put in jail. Now at this point in the story, we might wonder if God really had a plan because this was so hard for Joseph. But Joseph knew God loved him and Joseph knew God was always with him. And so even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. Do you want to hear what Joseph did even though it was hard? Well, while he was in jail, Joseph helped the other people in there. The guards saw him doing such a good job, they even put him in charge. Joseph trusted God's plan, and God's plan for Joseph isn't done yet. There's a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. I love this story because it teaches us that we can trust God even when things are hard. Because God loves us, God's with us, and God's got a plan for us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Wow, what a great story. If you guys got the story, say, uh-huh, oh, yeah. Uh-huh, oh yeah. Awesome. I'm so glad Joseph chose to trust God's plan, even when things were hard. Joseph knew that God loved him and he was always with him. You know, that is exactly right, Dad. So, maybe your ice cream is good now. Wanna try? Yeah, let me check it out. Look, Dad, it's working. There, all scooped out and ready to eat. These first scoops of ice cream are for you to enjoy, Colby. Thank you. Let me help you out a little bit there. Thank you so much. I can't wait to try this.
It is so much fun sharing with friends. And just think, I almost didn't get the chance to bless Colby with ice cream because scooping it out was too hard. But I chose not to give up. Kind of like Joseph chose to trust God's plan even when it was hard. So cool. Remember, God has a plan for me and God has a plan for you. That is the truth, friends, and don't you forget it. Bye, friends.